Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we look into determination of serum lipid in bracket cholesterol, directed by Dr. Deepakson. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, today I am Deepakson. I am a teacher now because I am going to teach the determination of serum lipid cholesterol. How we will determine that the concentration of cholesterol that is present in our blood which method is used okay so first of all cholesterol is one of the lipid that is present in the blood the measurement the estimation of cholesterol by a method is necessary because high cholesterol is referred to as hypercholesterolemia disease which is a major risk factor of coronary heart disease which may lead to ultimately heart attack but we can say myocardial infarction so its determination, its estimation in our, in our blood is so necessary, so necessary. So today we will gonna study about how we will determine it, which method is used. So the method, the method, the methodology, the methodology which is used for its determination is C H O D slash P O D method. CHOD refers to as cholesterol oxidase and POD refers to as peroxidase. So we can say that cholesterol oxidase peroxidase method is used for the determination of serum lipid or cholesterol. What is the principle behind that method? So we will study about that. What is the principle behind that? Actually, you should know that the methodology performed, it requires some reagent, it requires some standards. Like here, we will use a standard cholesterol which come in a market in a kit. There is a kit that involves some reagents, some standards. These standards or these reagents are used to perform that method. Okay. So, its principle is very simple. You will get it when I when I teach you in just a second group. So the principle behind that there is an enzyme known as cholesterol sorry there is enzyme known as cholesterol esterase Cholesterol esterase enzyme hydrolyzes cholesterol esters. Okay. So what is this cholesterol esters? I know that you don't know about cholesterol esters. So I teach you. I told you that our cholesterol esters are the lipid. It is the basic component of the lipid that is present in our blood. So cholesterol esterase enzyme hydrolyzes that cholesterol esters into cholesterol and free fatty acids. Which means these enzymes react with cholesterol esters and hydrolyzes into cholesterol and free fatty acid. Okay, now this cholesterol. is oxidized by another enzyme known as CHOD which is cholesterol oxidase enzyme cholesterol oxidase enzyme enzyme then oxidizes cholesterol that is formed in the first step into cholest 4 e 3 ohm plus H2O2 what is this H2O2 H2O2 is, is Peroxidase, hydrogen peroxidase. Okay. In the first step, cholesterol esterase is hydrolyzed by the cholesterol esterase to cholesterol and free fatty acid. And in the other, another step, the cholesterol formed in the first step is oxidized by the cholesterol oxidase enzyme into cholesterol 4 in 3 or and peroxide, then hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Now, this hydrogen peroxide 
inject with phenol and for amino antipyrin. What is this? For amino antipyrin. Amino antipyrin. Okay. H2O2 is a very good oxidizing agent. So it oxidizes phenol and for AA, which is uh, for amino antipyrin into a orange or a red dye. Orange, we can say red dye. It has a specific name known as cuninimide. Cuninimide. Okay. It's, it's a dye. Orange and a, and a red dye. And also water is formed in this. Dye. Okay. So, according to the intensity of that color that dye produces, we will tell that how much concentration is, of cholesterol is present in your blood. If its intensity is uh, like, its intensity is so high, which means the concentration of cholesterol that is present in our blood is very much. Okay. So, according to that, its intensity, we will determine the concentration of liquid or we can say cholesterol in our blood. It is the principle. Now, I think I am, I think you are going to the problems that cholesterol acidase for the CHOD and here POD, enzymes, phenol, 4A8. From here we will get it. I previously told you that there is a fit that involves some reagent and some standard. Okay. And reagents involve cholesterol acidase, cholesterol, ox uh, cholesterol oxidase, peroxidase, phenol and 4A8. These all reagents are combined in this kit. That was bought by you from the market, okay? It's just a principle, it's a methodology how we determine the serum liquid or the cholesterol in our blood. Thank you. Thanks for watching.